What's up everybody, welcome to Glass Cam Bottle Beer Reviews. They're back on the front porch. I've uh, been on the back porch trying to clean it up. I got some sun going on, so it's gonna be nice to see the color of this beer in it. Um, my wife's telling me I'm melting. The white people are melting. She's an, she's an idiot. She's racist. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm white. I mean, I'm doing Yeah, you're white. The darkest white person I've ever seen. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, because you're racist against white people. I'm like, people are going to hate me now. Okay, anyway. Um, Burial Beer Company. Um, this is out of Asheville, North Carolina. I ran up there yesterday, made a little video of some good bluegrass heading down the mountain. I'll try to post that. But one, okay, let me go ahead and start. Burial Beer Company, Asheville, North Carolina, 8.5%. It is a juicy, they're, they're taking, they're trying to make a juice bomb. Um, they make great stuff. They have a, a proprietary yeast strand and they changed the yeast strand for this beer. And I'll give you my thoughts on that as we talk. But this is the imprint of our existence is everlasting, made with El Dorado, Mosaic and Equinox hops. So all great hops. The sun goes up now, you can't see the real color of beer. What's coming back out? The persistence of memories, double India Pale Ale. Dippa. They always have cool art. This is, looks like they went less on the art and more on the beer, this one. My thoughts are this. I had one of these over at the brewery yesterday when I picked it up. Or was it yesterday? Yeah. yeah. Um, what they're trying to do, and I, and I love them for it, Burial makes great beers. They're probably one of the top uh, IPA makers, and they make a lot of stouts, good stuff, barrel-aged stuff in North Carolina right now, in my opinion. What they're trying to do, in my opinion, is they're trying to hit that hazy type IPA, the Juice Bomb IPA. This is their first attempt. They're going to uh, release two of these every month and through, I think, throughout the summer. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go back until May because right now they're tasting this. Great beer, but it's not quite there yet. By May, by about four batches, I think they'll be right on top of it. It might be on top of the next one. Who knows? get a buddy of mine or somebody to check it out up there and let me know the smell um, he's digging the yard Winston's out there digging the smell is great I mean it's orange it's orange and mango big time mango just big time mango almost a candied mango Let's get this thing a pour. I don't know which glass is mine. I think this one. Is this my glass? No, you didn't. What? I don't know. So you can see there. It does. You got to be careful. I forgot yesterday I did the same thing. You got to be careful to pour on this thing. The head dies out pretty quick though. But you, you can see it. It's definitely unfiltered, which is unlike burial. They usually filter their beer out pretty well. Uh, which, they're, like I said, they're trying to hit that hazy. IPA style, which they got darn close on the first try, I can tell you that. You can see it's a beautiful color there. Sun's hitting it almost right. It's just pure mango. Pure mango. You do smell, you don't get that typical, well, um, I don't know if you used the word typical, but that uh, same yeast, they, it's a great yeast they always use, but it's all, almost all barrel beers you can tell that yeast. So by changing it up, they, it's just pure mango right here. It gives way to an earthy dirtiness though. And that's what I'm saying, they're not quite at that juice bomb dancing across your tongue, but it's a great first start, first beer try. Mango is a little subdued more, you get more of that dirt dirt fruit, more florals, grassy, a little piney. Let's give it a taste. Oh, 
Well, it's really, to be honest with you, I might go back before May. I think, well, next month's May. So I guess I'm not. Next week is May. Monday next week is May. May. So I'm not going the next one. I'll go the following. I'll go the last one in May that they do. So that would be not the next one they do with this, but the next one. And I think they'll have it down. Tomorrow's it is. It's darn good. I didn't realize how good it was yesterday when I drank it. Uh, they're almost right on top of the top dogs when it comes to hazy IPAs already juicies. That's unfiltered. Of course it is. And it's got that, that like I said, that floral and that olive to me. That olive taste. Mm. Wife likes, as you can hear. If this is their... I know they can hear me. She's this mad is, at me now that I didn't buy a case. I only bought 16. If this is their first try at this, this is wonderful. What? It, um... This is wonderful. It is wonderful. This They did a great job on this. Actually, that, that candy mango goes away and it turns into more of a melon... Holy cow. How did you not tell me this yesterday? Melon floral really good smooth doesn't dance across time really smooth mouthfeel a little light light not quite medium great freaking taste though it is close to a juice bomb already so i won't go the next release of it because it's, it's supposed to be an ongoing evolving uh beer that they keep working on one i guess they're going to just make money as they go forward and get it right which i don't blame them it's perfect great beer barrel beer company Persistence of existence. When is it? Persistence of memories. Persistence. No. Persistence. Of Persistence memories. of memories. The Great beer. Appreciate you watching. Thank you. All right, everybody. We let it warm up a little bit. The persistence of memories from Barrow Brewing Company, Ashland, North Carolina, 8.5 percent, and it's tasting even better. It's starting to dance across the tongue. And I know that's weird. I guess it's the hops. It's not the carbs it's for the sure. Um, it's a great beer total rating on this like I said they're not even done yet getting it perfect I'm saying total rating on this thing is going to be a 9.4 right now actually I go a 9.5 right now uh, when they get this thing I, I give it two more tries I think that's what they're doing. Now, they might just change it up completely and think they're perfect on it right now how they want it. That could be the case, and it just has a different whole different flavor. Not sure on the series how they're going to run it, but my guess is they're going to keep doing it and just tweaking it to get it perfect. And like I said, right now, 9.5. Two more tries. I'm thinking we'll have a 10 beer going on here. First one I think we had in North Carolina that I've tasted um, for this kind of style. Uh, except for maybe heist, and that's close. Anyway, appreciate you watching. Thank you.